Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I thought that I would do the booktube newbie tag that was created by Brenda C. If you don't know, it's just like 11 questions to help you guys get to know me. Okay, so the first question is, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because I just wanted to be able to gush and rant about all the books that I read and I don't really have people in my life that I have similar reading taste to. Question two is, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to book two? Um, I don't really know about unique, but I think that the um, genres that I read, the combination of them, I don't see a lot of channels that do those together. But aside from that, I guess the main thing that I'm bringing to the table is me. Hopefully my taste and recommendations will connect with other people out there and uh, help them find books that they fall in love with. Question three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, for me, that one's easy. It's the community. I want to make friends that love reading as much as I do. Question four, why do you love reading? I love reading because I like escape. I like to find new worlds and see things happen that just would never happen in my life. I remember being a teenager and not being super happy and just thinking like, this is it about life. And reading allowed me to experience the excitement and adventure that I felt like life should have. Question five, what book series got you into reading? Um, I have been reading pretty much my whole life. When I was like in first and second grade, my mom used to have me sit on her bed with her and I would read um, Judy B. Jones and Amelia Bedelia. And then I remember my first like favorite author um, when I was a little bit older was uh, Gail Carson Levine. And I actually have a bunch of her books here. Um, so. I still love them and still have them today. She pretty much writes fairy tales. Question six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I think I would ask them when they first started making booktube videos, what did they do to help them balance like starting to get into this and their um, normal day-to-day -day life? Question seven. What challenges about starting a new booktube channel do I think will be the hardest to overcome? I think that the hardest thing to overcome will be my awkwardness in front of the camera um, because like talking about the books and the editing and setting up like the lighting and camera, those are all like things that you can just learn through trial and error. Uh, I think that, you know, the self-confidence and like stage fright um, is something that's going to take a little bit more time. Question eight, when did you start reading? I kind of answered this earlier, but I started basically as soon as I could read. So first and second grade, um, I think that's like six, seven years old. Question nine, where do you read? I read in multiple places. Um, I drive for work and so when I'm working, I am always listening to audiobooks. So I go through quite a few books that way. But when I'm not working, um, I read uh, here in this Papasan chair. Um, this is just kind of like my reading nook that's also in the dining room. And then um, I also read like in bed before I go to sleep. Question 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I mainly read fantasy. I read young adult and adult. Um, I do read a little bit of new adult, but um, not as often. And then between young adult and adult, um, I don't have a preference, but I go through phases between the two of which one I'm like preferring to read more. Um, that's my main thing that I read, but I am starting to get a little bit into sci-fi. I've only read a handful of sci-fi books. Um, and then I also read manga. And the last question is, what does your book collection look like? So for this one, I just figured I could do like a little bookshelf tour. So this is the manga section of my bookshelf. Witch Hat Atelier is an amazing series. I recommend everybody read that. And down here we have all of my Yona Vidan books. I'm up to date and I cannot wait until I think it's like 
I think like the first of August when the next one comes out, something like that. The series Kitchen Princess, I was in love with that series in like seventh grade and I just, it's like the only series from my childhood that I kept. And A Silent Voice is very emotional. Some of my Sailor Moon books, I've almost got the whole collection. I think I need like four more and then that'll be complete. And down here I have my clamp books um, and then The Girl from the Other Side. I love everything that I've seen that Clint puts out and eventually I would like to own all of their collection. And then at the bottom of the shelf I just have my nonfiction and some mythology books. And then over here is where I have some series that I've read and fallen in love with. Juliette Marillier is a fantastic writer. She just has like this beautiful um, writing style and her worlds just come to life for me. And then the Strange the Dreamer duology are literally my favorite books ever. Down here um, are a mixture of books that I've read on the left from, like I have them from tallest to shortest, but then once it jumps to Immortal Longings, those are books that I haven't read yet. And on this third section of my shelf, these are mostly books that I haven't read yet. So we have here. I've been uh, planning to start trying out Mercedes Lackey's books. I've only read one so far and it was really good, but there's just so many that it's kind of intimidating. And those are all of my books. But yeah, that's my bookshelf and that's the end of the tag. Thank you for watching. Bye.